Welcome to another episode of Greedy Craft. Today I'm going to be building part of our summoning altar as well as uh, starting work on some of the Britannia stuff we have to do. Right, <laughs> we currently have 8,000 blocks of Infernium Essence, so that's going pretty good. And 4,000 blocks of Infernium because sometimes that ends up in the system as well. Sorry, 9k of Infernium Essence. And a bunch of those seeds, which, yeah, we'll sort at some stage. But, um, Dreadlands Necronomicon is fully charged. Um, and I think I had... I had those rituals set up in not this bag. Oh, but take that. Here we go, these are the rituals. So we need to do both of these, right? That's the top and the bottom, and a sacrifice is required. Hey, luckily we just got that reusable mob. Now, from memory, we'll grab a couple of things. It's night time. I remember I stuffed it up one time by not killing the mob fast enough. I think. I think that was what happened. So we find something to sacrifice. Like, is that a charged creeper? It's just a champion creeper. Probably not that, right? Maybe one of our chickens? Sorry, mate. That didn't work. That worked. And we got a chicken. Hopefully, and we'll gr actually we'll grab another one. Just in case. Cool. Alright, so. I want a Necronomicon on us, uh, and then we want. I guess we'll just do this one, right? It's a little bit dark, and then that's a little bit bright. Cool. And nothing went in the middle, right? Uh, so we're making. not that one. This one. Nope, nothing went in the middle. Sacrifice required. That's not what I wanted to do. So we get our sword ready. And our Necronomicon, probably in our offhand. Don't you go too far, don't you go too far. Hey, hey, hey. So we sacrificed one. did work. Cool. Cool. So we got the top. Nice. Now we still need the bottom, which means we need to charge our Necronomicon up again. Right, so we got the top altar piece. Now we just need the bottom one, so that's just going to take a while. So we probably want to work on other stuff. Um, can this go in here? Nice. Probably want to work on other stuff. Uh, in between. Waiting for that to get charged up. And so we've made the top one, we've made that book. Titanium seeds, we probably haven't made any of these seeds. I think these are seeds we can make. So guys, we haven't got mana, we're working on that. Marion, I don't know if we need it. Oh, we're getting Master Wizard from this thing anyway, so... Do we have everything for this? Uh, we've got the stuff. Hey, that's all the stuff. Uh, maybe I was just waiting for an attuned rock crystal by the look of it. That sounds familiar. So hopefully we'll get lucky. And we'll end up with the constellation in the sky. And we totally did have it before. And once we've got that, I think, yeah, I'm ready to make, I think, two lots of astral metal. Okay, so we've got our trend rock crystal. Does that go here? Hey, that that looks uh that looks encouraging. Um, I think I've probably got too much food on me. Let's just let's just put that there for now. Grab the stuff. I'm gonna make some astral metal. And we needed something else. Oh, these go around the outside, right? So we got our wand, which is here. 
eventually it's going to ask for four of these shooting stars around the outside. I've never actually done one of these crafts, so... I'm a little bit concerned that the... yeah, the shaders kind of mess it up, but you get the beam of light. And particle effects, so yeah, but hard to tell what you need to put in there. It's good, cool. Alright, astral metal. And, ah, oh, we're using that for making this thing. Oh, I totally don't have the stuff ready for this, and this needs a different thing in the sky. Alright. I'll gather together the stuff. I think we had thormium, we don't have these resonating gems. We've got enough astral metal now, and then we just need an attuned crystal to, to that thing. So I'll work on that, and we'll come back and we'll get this arcane crystal ball. Alright. We're ready. We are ready. Um, let's do this. Oh, I like how the colors are different too. Maybe it's based on the constellation actually. It just happens to match this, the ingots. Am I missing one? There might be all of them. Oh, we got it. You only made this to prove your magical skills. And that's cool. We definitely want to keep this. I don't want to have to make that again. But hey, so we've unlocked Void Metal and Primordial Pearls, I'm assuming. Oh, unless there's Primordial Metal as well. Extended Thorncraft content? I haven't really played with the add-ons too much. And an Energy Matter Conversion Core. What is... Energy Matter Conversion Core? I mean, we're going to have to... Oh, right... And we need crumb steel for that anyway. That's interesting. So cool, we've done this. I'm also going to make aquamarine seeds at some point. Now, did we get cool rewards? I mean, Elytra's not really cool anymore, but thanks. And we got hey, another one of them. It was literally one Elytra. Thanks. And challenges, we got... Oh, the City Protectors thing. That's right. A Basic Collector Mark 1. I think that's a Project E thing. So I don't know if we use this for anything else. Doesn't really look like it. So we've done Master Wizard, and we were doing that because... Something was locked behind it. Actually, I think it was something in here, right? Primal metal. Does this have seeds? This doesn't have seeds. Oh dear. What's this going to be? This is an infusion crafting. Oh, that's not bad. Apart from primordial pearls. Now we need to unlock some research. Moderate instability? That won't be too bad. Primordial pearls. Does that, like, duplicate? Maybe that duplicates it. Void metal, thormium. Uh, I need to find some topaz. Okay. Yeah, these are pretty rough to get normally. These are, well, we're going to be making a mess in our base. Uh, you can like upgrade your primordial thing. It uses a lot of essence though, so. Ooh. You can charge up. That's nifty. It definitely did not used to be a thing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. Alright, so still waiting for it to charge, but um, running into some pretty pretty bad performance issues uh, related to the evolve trait on our armor. If we take some damage, you'll see everything gets very, very laggy. Now as soon as our energy shield finishes recovering that'll that'll be fixed. But yes, um, if you want to see like what's happening you can type slash forge dps and the, the bottom bit, the, the mean tick time being 145 and the mean tps being 6.8, those are, those are bad numbers. You want the first one to be lower and the other one to be 20. 
or you know close to 20. But yeah we'll notice as soon as our energy shield finishes recharging in a second nope everything's back to normal um so that's that's an issue because i take damage quite a bit so i think we're just going to leave this guy charging that was not the book and um yeah Yeah, hopefully that's getting fixed in the next patch and I might actually have to wait for that. Or we're going to have to take Evolved off our armor, which uh, maybe we'll just make new armor. Because I don't want to make a bunch of Wolverine and good skin. But okay, if we're not doing that, um, <laughs> I don't know what else we're doing. Kind of like halfway through what I was planning on doing today. So, actually, I think we could make... This neutronium compressor. We might have the neutronium for this. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I'm going to start working through some of these quests. Um, I mean, we're going to get stuck as soon as we get here because we need to kill the Chaos Dragon, but I don't see how we'd do that now with the current performance issues. Because I think we need like full draconic cores at least, and maybe some other upgrades before we'll even stand a chance. So, hmm. Hmm, not sure how we're going to approach this. And I might have set this up in between episodes too. It was just, uh, yeah. Everything piping into here. So yeah, I think we might be right for... Crafting this Neutronium Compressor. And as a reminder, I got all these out of the quest reward for just playing for a long time. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I was looking at making seeds for this. And I mean... Is it like... So you get nuggets from the seeds. And I'm picking these are pretty slow. The really low production chance. Maybe we won't bother making these seeds. Maybe we won't. We'll do this instead. So... It's a lot of iron. Potentially, I mean, actually, we should have enough iron. Uh, and then lines. Oh, ah, we're going to be a little bit short. We're one short. <laughs> That's pretty close. That is pretty close. Do we get any as, like, rewards at any point? Uh, we've got a few of these singularities, actually, which is kind of cool. Although I think some of them aren't, like, we wouldn't actually use them for anything. I can't see anything. Maybe we'll open some other, like these. Might have neutronium. Hmm. Ooh. We are one... One dust. Okay, so we'll carry on because we're pretty close, actually. Um, and then it was these crystal... Well, actually, yeah, the crystal matrix ingots could be an is issue. Actually, no. It looks like we got plenty of them. Um, and then we'll have that. And this is what's used for making singularities. Um, or diamonds. I think mostly ore experience. I guess, like, we could have this making one of them. Because we want things like this, right? gonna need an iron singularity gold those shouldn't be too bad lapis mm. actually no it's like 400 blocks of iron yeah Nebicots. these are all just ores diamonds is actually gonna be a pain 400 diamond blocks oh wait 300 yikes emeralds oof. fluxed be an issue platinum that and iridium oh, it's only 80 blocks but still I mean, I don't even know what this is for. It's a component for making something else. Which we need. Yeah, we need a bunch of stuff for that. And this is used for... Making the Draconic Staff power. Yeah, ouch. We kind of do want, I think, one of these. Oh. 
Oh, man. I think I'm just starting to realize how much of a grind this is going to be. Mm. <laughs> I suddenly regret saying that I want to finish this pack. Alright. Nuggets. Another Neutronium Ingot. Goes there. Neutronium Collector. Compressor, rather. Um, you can just sit there. Kind of... I kind of don't need to work towards anything. Oh, we got some more Neutronium. That's nice. And how much experience? We've got 44 levels. 186. And... Some Manulin. 70 Manulin. Okay. Cool. Um, let's spend these levels. Um, I was kind of working towards mining. It needs to be level 30. I think going for experience gain might be the go. Right? I don't know. Like, I don't think we've got any other skills we really want. I mean, step up. Step up would be kind of nice. So maybe experience gain. We got a bit. We got a bit. Right, the, the faster we get experience, the faster we get everything. That's the plan. So we got this dude. I think we're locked behind beating the Chaos Dragon now, right? I need Chaotic. Power of Infinity. I need Chaotic and... Oh. And that's not too bad. That's actually fine. That's actually fine. It has been mentioned that getting into this stuff would be the go. Um, haven't really played around with it. So let's have a look. So this is pretty simple to make actually. And I haven't played around with it and it will supposedly reduce the grind. Which I'm very interested in. We should have all this other stuff here. Let's craft one of these. I need a little bit more starlight. Um, and luckily it's almost night time. Could get a little bit faster though. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Philosopher's Stone, mode cube. What do you mean, cube? Press X to open crafting group. Nope. I think that's conflicting with something. Just enough items X, I never use that. Big alt, big bit tool alt replacement. No. Extra function, project D. Alt. That's oh, just a crafting grid. Okay. I don't know how we charge it. I don't know how we charge it. Cool. Let's let's check out the quests. The blood sigil, nice. Um E to obtain the energy matter conversion core. Oh, hey, maybe we should have done this, and then, no, we needed, uh, maybe we should have come down here and we would have got a free one of them. The transmutation tablet's like the main thing you want, which lets you, like, convert stuff into EMC and then turn that into items. Um, what is involved in this? Okay, cool. Well, oh, that needs chroma steel. Okay, all right, so we can't do that. We need to look at a way of generating even more mana. So we have to look at Gaia Steel. Right, we need... Okay, a remorseful gem. Which is this dude. Gaia Ingot, that's easy. Dragonstone. Oh, I guess it's that Dragonstone, probably not a block of Dragonstone. And one Nether Star. So she, yeah. In one million mana, we've kind of got almost... That's a full pull, I think. 
So a terrestrial agglomeration plate, we need Alvin Lapis Blocks. If I can spell Alvin Lapis. Oh, I've already got them there in Dream Rock. And then, yeah, so our portal stopped working. I oh, know our portal's going at the moment. Um, we need our mana tablet though. Because. Yep. And maybe we should. Let's grab our demagnetizer. I got one and I put it somewhere. Demagnetizer. This seems like a thing that should be over here. So now our magnet shouldn't pick stuff up, right? Yeah. Even though our magnet's on, it doesn't work in this area. So we'll drain some mana. And then I guess we just chuck this dude. Oh. In there, because I think we need a little bit of mana. Ah, for doing these conversions. And we also have unnatural hunger. Ah, we can fix that by eating some rotten flesh. Okay, I think we got something here. We got 3,000 rotten flesh. Yeah, natural hunger fixed. Okay, so... Dream Rock was just Living Rock. Hey, I know there's some Living Rock yeah, behind this, but I'm probably getting some on the system too. I think it's five, maybe. I uh, got 2,000 Lapis, that should be enough. Yeah, I can't remember. One of these we only need four, or maybe we need six. Uh, living. Let's just let's just do a couple. Let's just do six to be safe. And a guy agglomeration play. That's yeah. That's a little bit more involved. Let's put this in there. This and this in there. And that's not how you do it. I need mana lapis. So, I used a lot of mana. Yeah, six elven lapis, cool. And then we just need to repeat this pattern, and maybe we have this like beside it. Because I think there's another one we can make as well. Cool. And um, we'll leave the spark here for now. Um, and then we needed, so we've done that, we've done that. A rune of teleportation. Um, I don't know what runes we've still got. Okay. Guy shards, I think, are fine. Elven lapis blocks, we need one more. So that's cool, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll probably just convert the plate we've already got. So, rune of teleportation, rune of energy. Fire, air. Fire and air. Nice. Teleportation is a rune of mana. Which actually, I think was pretty easy. But let's grab some Batania stuff. Uh, how do we turn this into those nuggets? That's literally... Oh, we need a Terra Catalyst. Shimmer Rock. Alchemy Catalyst. Alright, how do we get that? We've almost got enough. Okay, so I realized I was doing a little bit much uh, in between recordings, so probably won't get this thing finished today. But what I've been working on is making these Elven Mana Spreaders, and then we needed... What oh, just gave us the diamonds back? That wasn't what I was wanting to do. I thought I was supposed to keep them. Uh, grabbing these because I'm upgrade yeah upgrading my mana spreaders. So making some Alvin mana spreaders, and then these need to be turned into Gaia mana spreaders. Um, so we should have the stuff for this. 
and they should be faster, which should be cool. And it probably means we can have more like Endo Flames or other mana generating flowers as well. Uh, these Gaia Shards, I had to make, I uh, want the recipe for them, I had to make this Terra, Terra Catalyst, uh, which is pretty easy. Uh, Shimmer Rock was probably the trickiest bit, which you needed a Bifrost block, which you get from Rod of the Bifrost, Bright Bifrost, which was just like Diamond and Enderpearls in that portal. And then Elf Glass is Mana Glass in the portal, which is Glass in, in Mana. But yeah, ended up doing a little bit much, so I think we'll probably finish up shortly. Once we get some better Mana Spreaders though. And yeah, checked a Demagnetizer there, and I had to put another one there because that guy didn't reach. And then we need our Tanya Wand, wherever that lives. And these guys are kind of aiming... So yeah, he should be pretty quick. All these flowers look like they're pointing at stuff. So I guess... Let's assume that that's right. And I think our mana pools are full. Oh hey, the bottom of that changes when you put the catalyst under it. That's neat. Um, yeah, so that is a little bit of a sidetrack. A little bit of a sidetrack. Um, but we did need though these things for this, this thing. I still haven't made this stuff. Um, so... It's not that much, is it? Ah. Oh. Oh, I need to put put that there and then. Nice. And then the rune of energy was air, fire, two mana diamonds, and two redstone. Oh, we get the fire and the air ones back, so that's. Ah, oh, and then we need two more mana diamonds and an ender pearl. Now we get the Rune of Mana back, that's cool. And then we're going to need, that's everything, right? And then it's... Flog this dude. And we can make this dude. We lose the, we lose the runes, but it's okay. Nice, and then we check on the spark. Wait, what? Ah, oh, shift right click the spark thing, and we'll aim these guys back at, uh... Your respective pulls, and put the coal back in there. Nice! Done. And then we just need... Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of all that stuff. So guy, I think it's easy. Dreams, Dragonstone, that's easy. So we've got the guy agglomeration plate. So it's the Remorseful Gem. Scarlet we've gotten from the Deep Dark. Remorseful Essence. Acquired by defeating the Mourner boss. A strange looking altar. Okay. With an Idol of Sorrow. I think I've seen that altar. We got an Idol of Sorrow. No, we do not. Skylight's easy, Gaia Spirit's easy, Umbrium I think is just an ore, so that's easy. Ravaging is by beating another boss. Alright, there we go. We got the Gaia Agglomeration Plate, and now we just need to fight a couple more bosses. Uh, hopefully by the time I go to record that part, uh, the, the Evolved Armor perk has been fixed. Otherwise, we might have to look at making some different armor. Okay. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It's been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.